Hi there, today we're gonna have a look at how to create this stunning slide in PowerPoint. I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this paint brush effect and then we're gonna animate the slide. And before we dive into the tutorial, please make sure you support my small channel by giving this video a like. And also if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And now let's head over to PowerPoint. I'm gonna start with a new blank slide and first what we need to do is to set a background image for the slide. For that I'm gonna right click anywhere in the slide and select format background. That will bring up this format background pane on the right hand side and in here we'll need to click on picture or texture fill. Then go ahead and click on the insert button. It will open up the file explorer. Now I can simply select the image I want to use as the background and click insert perfect the next step would be to hide the image by covering the entire slide with the white rectangle so let's navigate over up top and click on the shapes tool then in the menu we would want to select the rectangular shape and now we can just draw the rectangle and cover up the background image then we need to remove the outline around the shape which we can do by going to the format shape pane over on the right here I'm gonna select no line and fill color I want to be white. Great, now we can start creating our brush strokes. We're gonna be using a font that emulates brush strokes. So let me grab the text box tool and type uppercase I. Then let's select the character and in the home ribbon I'm gonna change its font to Hey August. It's a free font, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download it. Now let me set the font size to 300 and also I want to make it bold for the solid look. Alright, now we need to convert this text box to a shape and to do that we need to create a rectangle and place it right over the text. Then let's open up the selection pane so we can easily select the two shapes. Hold down the shift key and click H. Then head over to the left side of the shape format ribbon and click on merge shapes tool. And now in the menu click on intersect. Let me also quickly remove the outline around the shape. Now I want to give some more texture to the stroke. So first I'm gonna make it a bit thinner. Then holding down the shift key I'm gonna make a few copies and place them on top of each other forming a nice brush stroke. Next, we need to select the three shapes and in the Merge Shapes tool, I'm gonna click on Union, which is gonna put them in a single solid shape. I want to adjust the form a bit more. That looks good. Now we can make use of this light background and set it as the fill for our brush stroke. Make sure the brush stroke is selected. Now switch over to the Format Shape pane over on the right side. And in the fill section, we're gonna wanna select a slight background fill. Now, if I move the shape anywhere on the slide, it's gonna show through the slight background. So let me bring the element over to the left and rotate it just a little. Now let's create a copy. Make it bigger and place it right next to the first stroke, overlapping it a bit. I would also want to rotate it like so. Now I'm just gonna continue creating my strokes. Once we have all our strokes in place, we can start animating them. First, I'm gonna select them all in the selection pane. And then I'm gonna head over to the animation tab. And in the animation ribbon, I'm gonna click on this down arrow to bring in the menu where you will see all these different types of animations. And we need to select the one that says wipe. Now, I want to change the direction for half of the strokes to be from top so that the first appears from top the second one from the bottom and so on. So I'm gonna head over to the animation pane and select every other element starting from the first one. Then I'm gonna open up the direction menu and select from top. Also I want each stroke to appear after the previous one has finished playing its animation. 
So let me select all animations and then over up top in the animation ribbon, I'm gonna click on the start drop down and select after previous. Let's see what this gonna look like. It's looking good, except that I want my strokes to appear starting with the one on the left side. And to achieve that, we'll need to change the order of the animations in the animation pane. Each has a consecutive number in their names, so swapping them around should be fairly easy. Let's hit the preview button once again. Now it's looking much better. You would probably also want to add some animated text to your slide, so let me quickly show you how you can easily create text that would stand out on the slide. Let's grab the text box tool and type something. I'm just gonna put here PowerPoint. Now let's select the text and change its font to Montserrat Black. And I'm gonna set its size to 96. Now let me place it right here and also let's change its color to white. The sides of the text are getting blended with the background and we can fix it by giving it some shadow. So with the text still selected, let's jump to the format pane over on the right, switch to the effects tab. And in the shadow section, I'm gonna click on the presses button. And in the menu, I'm gonna select the first option. Now let's increase the blur setting to about 40 points. It's already looking much better. Now, I also want to add some color glow to the text. So I'm gonna click on the text option tab. In here, I would need to select the text effects tab. Now we can go down to the glow section, click on the presses menu and select one of the available presets. You can choose any and then adjust the settings to your liking. So I'm gonna go with this one. Then I want to change the color to this dark purple. Size I'm gonna increase to about 25 points and transparency I'm gonna set to 70%. Now, if you want to add more text, you can simply make a copy and change the text and it's gonna keep all the effects. And now let's also add animation to the text. I'm gonna select both items, then head over up top to the animation ribbon, select the flying animation, change its direction to from left. It's gonna start after previous, then would want to open the animation pane for some extra settings. In the effects options section, we'll activate smooth start and bounce end options. And now let's play the slide. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your support will be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!